Hey everyone, it's Tina Peterson, broker with Uncommon Ground Helena Bozeman team. And I get a ton of requests for my carrot ginger soup. And it's a chilly day today. Um, in fact, tomorrow they're predicting snow, so it's the perfect day to make soup. Super easy and inexpensive to make this soup. You need two pounds of carrots chopped up, that's about seven cups. And then you're going to take two onions and chop them all up also, that's about four cups two tablespoons of freshly grated ginger, and I actually use my zester and it works really great, um, some salt and pepper, six cups of chicken broth, two cups of half and half, and two tablespoons of butter. And the thing that you do first is you're just going to throw your butter in your pan and you're going to saute up your onions until they are nice and soft. So our onions are now soft. They've been simmering for about 15 minutes. And now it's time to just add the six cups of chicken broth, the seven cups or two pounds of the chopped carrots, and our two tablespoons of our fresh shredded ginger. So we're just gonna do that super quick, and then we will actually simmer these until the carrots are nice and soft, and then we are going to get out the blender. So our carrots are now nice and soft. They have been simmering for about 20 minutes. So now we are going to actually put um, the, all of the soup into the blender. We're going to puree it in about two different parts. Be careful because it can get very hot. So you may have noticed that I have a very nice blender. This is actually a commercial Vitamix. And I can do this soup in two, just two um, separate sessions. But be very careful if you have kind of your ordinary household blender. You might need to do this in about four different parts and make sure you have about equal parts of liquid and solid. Um, mine actually blends it up very nice. It gets very creamy, adds a lot of air to it and makes it very fluffy. So just be careful. So we are done blending the soup. As you probably saw, it's nice and light and fluffy. Now all we need to do is add our two cups of half and half and some salt and pepper. I have a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. It calls for white pepper, but when Oliver was last over, he loves to play in my spice drawer and it promptly spilled all over the floor. So anyway, no big deal. It's just it will show with the, the pepper in it. We're gonna add these ingredients and then we are just going to heat this through and serve. So our soup is now heated through and we are just going to spoon it up and serve it. And this soup is actually a fantastic fall soup. I like to serve it with um, a nice crusty bread or a panini. We do them with what we call BAM sandwiches, bacon, avocado, mozzarella, paninis that are fantastic. And um, try this recipe, it will not disappoint. Bye.